Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand spanking new video. So today I'm really excited because a while ago I filmed a video where I pretended that I ordered Etsy products and got my dad to review them, but I had made them all. And today I am going to be making cinnamon rolls that I'm going to pretend that I bought from London and get his actual honest response on because he won't know that I've made them. So we're going to be slaving away in the kitchen all day. Um, this was inspired by Mia Maples. Um, she inspired the last video. Great gal. Love her. Check her out. Link down below. So I thought, I know. I'm going to do cinnamon rolls because my dad loves cinnamon rolls. And this way it means I get to test loads of recipes online because you guys are always asking me for the best cinnamon roll recipe. And to be honest, I've never found one that I proper love. But we're going to find out from Papa Booth which one's the best. So we need to get started baking because we're going to be in the kitchen all flipping day. So I'm going to pick four different recipes that are all quite different. So that we can get a real gist of the best cinnamon roll recipes. So I picked one which I know he's had before. But I'm going to shape it in a different way so he doesn't suspect anything. And I've picked another which basically all different completely different methods. So I'm going to make the first dough now and this dough is like a special dough because it only requires one um proving time. So we're going to see if that makes what difference that makes. Doughs require plain flour or bread flour and obviously it is all to do with the how much gluten the bread has and how much it's being worked. So this one requires a plain flour um which probably is linked to the fact that like it only needs kneading for three minutes so it's probably going to be quite soft oh uh, you know what for the next recipe i'm making i'm probably going to half it because otherwise we're going to have cinnamon rolls coming out of our actual ears no one wants cinnamon rolls coming out of their ears well there are definitely worse things coming out of their ears i was actually worried that i had a bug in my ear the other day but i think it was just hay fever we're going in okay this is what she's looking like after a minute update okay so this is the dough it's nice it's quite like elastic but it's not sticky um very nice dough i like it so whilst that's proving we make the filling well you know i just supposed to it says like when you roll them out because we've only got 10 minutes until we need to assemble them so i'm going to mix together the cinnamon and sugar and um, this uses one tablespoon of cinnamon and this is actually interesting how the assembly part because a lot of cinnamon rolls are so different some are like melt the butter then add it some are like scrape on the butter or then it's like mix the butter and the sugar and the cinnamon all together but this one's saying keep this, the butter and the cinnamon and sugar separate and then do your thing this is our best friend today it also says you can use any sort of sugar you want i'm gonna go for dark brown because uh normally it's light brown so let's see oh i hate it when it's got these lumps apparently to get rid of the brown sugar lumps you lay a wet kitchen towel over the sugar and you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. So let's see. Right, 30 seconds later, let's see. Oh wow, yeah. I mean, you still have to do a bit of the handwork, but it is basically soft. I love this dough. This is so smooth and elastic. And now we put on the like softened butter. Then we sprinkle on our cinnamon sugar and now we roll it up now we cut into 12 and now we put in the grease line cake tin now we leave to brew for 60 to 90 minutes okay i have found a recipe and it's from a website called tasting tables but it has such good reviews and it looks like no other cinnamon rolls i've ever seen before and it doesn't have i want them all to look quite different because i don't want them to all have the cream cheese frosting because i feel like most of the ones online have the cream cheese frosting, but I don't know if dad likes it. I tell you, I feel like his favorite, he said the other day, I, I got him one from Sainsbury's and he was like, it's not as good as yours. He likes when they're like caramel and gooey. This dough feels like it's being made backwards. It's like adding in things at a really weird time. All right, we've just added the last bit of flour and now we have to wait until a tacky ball forms. Okay, this one is a lot, lot stickier than the other one. So now we leave it to prove for 90 minutes. I have whipped up this dough, which is the Richard Betanet one. And I've actually made it loads of times over on my vlog channel. If you don't know how a vlog channel, put extra grack, which is very chill vlogs. So I'm gonna link that video down below because you've literally seen me make it so many times. But that's the dough that I'm making just now. But I'm not gonna do it in the style that I normally do. I make these knots because I know he's gonna recognize it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the rolls and then put it in the muffin tin so they still puff up a bit but they don't have like the classic look that he does. Okay, so this is the cook recipe of the sticky dough and it's proved and it's nice and not sticky now. 
and we've just made the filling and the filling was a bit weird because it actually has plain flour in it which not a lot do but, but I get why they did it because sometimes it means that um, the filling doesn't melt out as much and sometimes it's really nice okay this is a nice dough I like this dough I love these doughs oh my gosh these are such good doughs and now we pop our beautiful filling I just get involved with my hands if I'm honest because they're clean um, and it's just easier to like control the dough with my hands. I wanna make sure that every bite is sugary and cinnamony. I love rolling cinnamon rolls. Let me leave that to prove for 20 minutes. Right guys, we are moving on to the last dough, which is the one that's a bit weird, but I feel like it's gonna be good. So we're making the dough now. It's kind of just the same as all the other ones, the main bulk of it. We're just um, getting the yeast going right now with the warm milk, and then we're just gonna kind of add all the ingredients, but the weird part comes up later. Guys, the first batch is going in the oven. Mikey O'Reilly, I just took the first one out because I was like, it's smelling a bit burnt. It'd only been in there. I've turned the temperature down, it's 10 degrees, and it's only been in there for 15 minutes, and it says to put it in for 30. And these are beyond done, like very much done. Um, so I need to make the glaze for these. These are really good, I'm into this. All right guys, you're up next. We are going to be making the tasting tables frosting, which is very different from all the others. You basically boil together evaporated milk, some butter and some sugar, and it's more of like a glaze on top. Okay, this is what it looks like already. Go on our little cinnamon rolls. Da -da. Oh gosh. I've got this recipe, which is the Sally's Baking Addiction one from earlier, and they're cool now. Um, so I'm gonna put the icing on. This was a milk icing, so it's just milk and icing sugar and vanilla. So this is what they look like. So that is the Sally's Baking Addiction recipe. Okay, this is the last one that has a bit of a twist in the filling. I just wanna show you how cute they look as a little coil. So these are the Richard Betternet ones. Okay, here they are. It's funny how different these and these look. Like, it's just crazy. Okay, whilst our, I'm making the icing for the last cinnamon rolls, now I'm gonna put a little batch of just roll cinnamon rolls in and see what he like actually thinks of these and see if he notices. I feel like he'll be able to tell with these. And then I've also bought some cinnamon rolls from Morrison's. And again, these are like the decoy because I, they'll help like make it look a little bit different, you know? The classic just rolls are diddly done. Okay, here are the last ones. And what you do that is so different is you add cream to the tin before you bake it. And apparently it makes them really lovely and soft. Into the oven they go. Okay, here are the buns just out of the oven and I'm gonna wait for them to cool a little bit. But it does have this weird little pockets of obviously where the cream's been. Like it's a bit juicy loosey. So this is the first cinnamon bun. This is the second. This is the third. This is the fourth, this is the fifth, and this is the sixth. Ooh. What are we saying automatically? So automatically, they're the top two for me. Really? Yeah. So I thought you'd be into that one because it's like a, sw a Swedish. That one, no, but that's more like caramelized, gooey, similar to that one. So probably that one, that one, that one, maybe that one, that one, that one. Interesting, okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <gasps> Um, Best tasting session ever. Oh really? Yeah. Let's hope they pull apart through. From, from, apart from estate testing. The cookies did not pull through last time. Do you remember? You weren't happy. No. I'm here with... Papa Booth. And we're going to be testing all of the cinnamon rolls from London. Um, bear in mind that these have travelled back to my house and have been like in packaging, moving around in my backpack. So there might be a it's little bit... It's not about bit. what they look like, it's about what they taste like. Should we, where should we start from? You want to start with that one? It's not good. Nice, nice even distribution mm -hmm. of dough to cinnamon. Should we do give them a little sneaky link? Oh, it's nice. Nice bit of cinnamon. That's a bit too cinnamony for me. No, I would go out of time. Very nice. I bet that's got a life in it. I feel like that will keep for a little while. But Sometimes coffee. they go dry, don't they? And I like the, the glaze on it. You like, <coughs> it's very pernickety with the days. You're not a cream cheese glaze. I'm looking at that one, I'm not like, no. 
Be like that one from that bakery that Chloe gets it from, and that's cream cheese. Mm. It's not smothered in it. People are yeah, it to is. Do it. No, it's not. Right. Oh, this one feels a bit dry. Oh, yeah. A bit dry. Not quite as much cinnamon. That's not dry. Mm -hmm. It is. You see? Yeah. Not into that it's one. Dry. It's really close, you know, big, bigger air holes. I prefer that one. Mm. Mm. And I love the cream cheese on top. Too much. Over that one. Really this, one. this is the caramel one. This is, this is good. This is caramel. So it should be a bit, I can tell already that's a bit more. Pillowy. Mm. Too cinnamon, too much. Let's call it a cinnamon roll. Processing, taste buds are rolling. Got it some time. Got just a knee jerk reaction. I'm a knee jerk reaction. I really like that. I like the texture. Mm. I like the crunchy bits, the sugary crystal bit. Um, so at the moment, it'd be that one first, that one second. This one second. That okay. third. Yeah, this guy. Or rather, was known as last. It's still late podium at the moment, though. Mm. So, will it stay there? Will it stay on the podium? We need to get that. What? Let's get a little podium. Oh, we should actually. Look, there's going to be more taste tests in this in this life of ours, Dad. Me, she has you, me, dried you. out. Let me outside. Give it a chance. I don't know. I'm, I'm holding a little bit out for this one. See, I think looking at that, it's got to be had when it's warm. Should we zap it in the micro? No, that's no, not that's our not test. Fair. Definitely that one. Warm. Warm. That's actually got the texture a bit like yours. Really? That you make. We've just said how dry that is, so um, that's really flattering. No, that when you when you made yours and they go off a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, when they overnight. And I have to zap them. Again, I like the bit of crunch on the top. I still think it should have more. That one has got the right amount for me. Of cinnamon. Mm. I actually quite like this one. I do quite like it and I definitely think the secret's in it being warm. I think the butteriness is good, mm. don't you? I quite like that. I actually thought I wouldn't like that. I thought it'd be, it's almost a bit croissanty. Mm. A bit more pastry than bread. I like it. These are swirls, see, not rolls to me. Ah. That's a roll. That's a swirl. Well, no, because essentially it's a dough with cinnamon in the middle. Yeah. Again, a bit more croissant-like, right? Yeah, a few more laminations in that. I love that. That's a good, a good one. I think that's a good one. You know? Mm. But bouncy, bit funky. Quite like that. You really quite like, like that. that? Quite like that. It's going to still podium. Again, I like the icing on the top. Mm -hmm. Supermarket to me, nice. No. That's a supermarket one to me. It's actually a really expensive one. Is it? No. Pesco! <laughs> bit doughy. Bit not cooked. <laughs> bit raw. <laughs> it's raw. Do you know what that's from? Paul Hollywood, you see that on Bake Off? Oh. We'll be on there soon. We're going to need Paul and Mary. <laughs> Who's Mary? <laughs> You mean, who's Mary is in, who's Mary, I don't know who Mary is, or who's Mary? Who's Mary? <laughs> Mary. I'm getting those folds in your There's, face. Where's the cinnamon? Hmm. I'm not getting an ounce of cinnamon. You don't get it. There is no cinnamon in that. There is, because you can see it. Yeah, it could just be brown sugar. I could taste it. So give me an overview of the rolls today. What's your <laughs> alarming thoughts? Cinnamon roll is a cinnamon roll, because it's got cinnamon in it. And so therefore we need to be able to taste the cinnamon. You've got to have that kind of sugary, caramelly bit. And they don't all have it. But then, contrary, Cinnabon... I'm just going to drop the mic. Mm -hmm. Cinnabon in America is not caramel. You like those. They're more soft, pillowy, mm. but they're not caramel. So what they're is your... caramel. No, but like the, the bit that I'm talking about, like the crispy bit that you're talking about. Mm. So how do you feel about Cinnabon? They were great. And that's cream cheese on top as well. Yeah, but they were thick great. Cream but they, it wasn't thick. Yeah, that one props. Okay, sixth. That one for me. Fifth. Yeah. Fourth. <coughs> that one. Third. Second. Third. First. That one is Reign Supreme. And that one is the cheapest. Is it? No, because I made them all apart from these two. Did you? This is just roll, that water in the supermarket, and I tested loads of different recipes. Good girl. I'm impressed. What do you think? Do you actually like it? Yeah. Did you know that that was what I'd done? Did I you said have that was like you. No, I didn't. That's what I was like. But when you said you'd been out to London, I thought, really? You didn't say anything else about London today. <laughs> well, I won't be making those again, because they only made fourth. Did you see my face drop when you're like, fourth? I was like, okay. It's <laughs> like craving them. And I am encouraged though that the supermarket one did rain bottom. I would have been a bit irked. Actually, that felt good. You love it. Mm. What is the best cinnamon roll you've ever had? had? Just one. What it's hard it? to remember, isn't it? But this is a really good one. It is hard. Someone needs to tell me the secrets of keeping a cinnamon roll for longer than like three hours. Well, you're not supposed to. 
<laughs> I ate that one first, mm -hmm. and that one heated up just now. Um, is this one now teetering above? Mm, that was nice. Teetering above that one? No. Because these are actually nice when they're warm. I quite like that glazy, crunchy bit. It's got a sugar glaze on mm. top. You boil the water and the sugar. Swell. Cleanse the palate. What cinnamon roll would you have? Do you want to have cream cheese? Because I love cheese and butter and all things that give me the squits. Lucky, lucky. You Can I have some? She's actually gone off her treats, guys, and we don't know how. We don't know what that's about. Around the world, uh, around the world. Too much. You hate you hate cream cheese frosting, mm. but so many people love it. Mm. You know what that's about? America. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is different and likes different things, <laughs> which means in life you have to be roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we always spoke with you finishing my last line. <laughs> I wonder if someone said sentences. Actually, not bad. Really? Mm. It's close between that little one that you burned and you, that one. You're just saying that. No. Just roll. You yeah. like you? That one came before the burnt nice. one before. Did they it? join? Yeah. Oh, okay. Join? That's probably better, I think. First, we probably lifted it. No. See, this is why no, I have to not tell you that. Um, it was real. Hmm. What is it that makes some of them different? We put cream. You pour cream over as you put it in the oven. Mm. Isn't that wild? Thank you very much. What did you say when you came home? Straight away. Come on, bro. A busy day, honey. What did he say when I came home? You were up to something. Why do you look mischievous? Oh yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> I literally, mum and I looked at each other and I was like, I'm panicking. <laughs> the whole video would have been over. But thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I love you all. Sorry. Peace out, punts. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not that bit yet. I love you all. I love you too. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. What I you love say. you all. I love you all. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I love you all. I love you all. <laughs> this is Dad and Pixery. You just repeat the same thing. You don't come up with an alternative solution. You're like, it's brown. It's brown. And then you get angry and angry, but you just repeat the same thing. I love you all. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it easy to tell me what to say? I love you all. And you love me. Mum, I love you all. What is the end of my sentence? I love you all. I love you all loads. Oh. Yeah. Subscribe <laughs> and like and everything else that makes this chick a success. <laughs> thank you. Um, and thank you very much for being on. It's a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Always been a pleasure to Paul taste and... a cinnamon roll. Paul and Mary can move aside and maybe I should do it with actual London cinnamon rolls. That could be fun. Rather than lying about it, you mean. Peace out! Punk.